have to keep. Holy shit, dude. I mean, I'm. Man, my phone. It has a button right by my thumb that's redundant because the button on the screen does the trick. And the button on the phone is right where you put your fucking thumb on it. I just keep fucking hitting it. And it shuts the shit off. And I'm all like, I take my. Anyways, that's what's up. Uh, hey, y'all. Um, people or beans or things or whatever you are. I mean, I'm just like having kind of an interesting experience on my planetary exploration. I've um, put out a request to over 4,000 things or entities or like um, Facebook pages and uh, text messages. And here's what it says. Um, please help feed my starving indigenous children. And I mean, just a couple bucks would really help. And I haven't eaten in eight days. And that's what I do. Because when my money comes in, I already got sick children. And, uh, I mean, just letting you know, planet Earth, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing about the truth. In that eight days that I petitioned, like, 4,000 individuals on your planet, not a single person responded in any way to help. And 22,356 of my children died from starvation. All right. And I know you don't care. And I know you say, go get a job. Well, I can't get any more jobs. I work for the United Nations. I'm the head uh, monarch of the Rainbow Church of Love. Just got our signatory by um, Pope Francisco last week. And it's just, a, um, I mean, it has to be done. He established his church on the planet before me. But I'm the one who put his church on the planet, if that makes any sense. I'm the mother church of the Vatican, the Rainbow Family Church of Love. And here's our, like, Bible. Here's our rules. Here's what you have. I'm inviting you right now into becoming a member of the Rainbow Family Church of Love. And here's the two things. Well, there's three. Here's the two concepts. You have to believe, you have to practice them both. You have to believe them. Okay, the first one is that you have to believe in love as a higher power. And the second one is you have to practice that higher power of love every day. That's it. We don't have like a long ass, crazy ass shit ton. Uh, this one does that one. And you wear two sweaters with three knots in them on Thursday at 4.30 and you better get it off by 4.35 or the shit storm going to come. And then all these things are going to come out of the sky and they're like hot dogs and Cheetos. And you just, you didn't want that. You wanted Mickey D's and Coca-Cola. Man, you forgot to took that one sock off, flip it inside out, put it on the fucking tail of a cow. And now you're in Idaho and you're a potato. Anyways, we don't have shit like that unless you want that. Because I'm also a magician in the Illuminates of Sanitaros, which is a um, lineage of the Illuminati. And I'm also a lot of things. And if you even give a fuck, ask me about it. Because I'm just sick of nothing doing nothing. I need people to share for me, okay? I'm trying to build an army to save the life of my mother, who happens to be your Earth. And her name is Gaia. Now I'll tell you the truth. She's been on artificial life support since your race of people dropped fat man and little boy up on, on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That happened to be right where her heart was. You think that's a coincidence? I don't know. But we were there. Me, I'm... Captain Star Trek of the Galactic Federation of Light. And we were there a half second before. Well, we were there a couple of years before. We came up there on uh, May 8th, 1942. And we've just been holding it down since then. Like, keeping the peace on the planet. I'm the elder peacekeeper, peacemaker, tribal war chief of the sacred, ancient, indigenous lands 
of my hometown here, my land, of Anishinaabe America. And before they did the whole shit storm, making the map and cutting everything up, and everyone gets this and everyone gets that, it was just mine. And I know I look like a man to you all, and I am a man, but I'm what's known as a diet. And I'm, the next thing is, this hasn't ever happened before. Um, I am what's known as a triumvirate, sovereign royal, dignitary, um, sacred deity, uh, universal creator, creator, multiversal creator, Nader, the creator, alligator. Swallow her whole, digested her, and then um, regurgitated her out of his mouth in a nest for his little babies later. So, I'm also known in, I'm, I'm what's known in the Mesoamerican text as Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. More so though, I'm the blue baby dragon. I'm the being that was in the very center, the womb of your planet, Gaia. You know how long I get to spend in there? Three days. I'm a three-day-old fertilized embryo. That's fucking nuts. Man, three days old, and the fucking witches who unloosed and the, the stitches on my little baby's britches and slivered up in his liver and sucked up the fucking jizz on my and slizz him and sliced him and diced him and made sure that he would never deliver a letter that was forever after. But we said, fuck that shit. Anyways, that is so long a time ago. Do you guys say this planet is like four point some billion years old? I want to say good job, scientists. Good job. Little off. 13.776 right now. Billion. So you guys are good. It shows me you have some intelligence. But, I mean, I'm not seeing it personally. Because you guys are programmed to, like, assaultedly, psychotically attack, attack, attack. Anything you perceive, anything you perceive to be a higher level of consciousness than you. And that was for a reason. But it's getting pretty weird as fuck, man, to be all gang stalked and shit. Look that up on the fucking youtube -y. Gang stopping of targeted individuals. I'll tell you what, it keeps us on our toes. It keeps us on our toes, and what it's been keeping me in is locked in a room for like the last week and a half. And that's been the best time of my entire life. Best time. Best time. I'm just being me. Taking care of me. The coolest thing is, I mean, the best thing, one of them, nobody fucking in my house interrupt like me making a video and telling me to shut the fuck up and sit down. Man, has ever anyone done that to you in your home? Of which you are the home controller, the homeowner. It's your home. And they're all like, oh, I'm all aggressively in chat. I mean, that is psycho. And these people are psycho. You can see them on my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash shining light 777. And I'll put a big petition out here, man. Planet Earth, humanity, robo sapiens, homo homo homos, homo robo double retardos on robot control. Show me that you care about your mother and her creation. And don't let me just sit here constantly. I haven't been asleep for eight days. Well, that's what you do when you're a mother and a grandmother. And your children haven't eaten and you haven't eaten. You're all right. Because you've been practicing this forever. Because you've been hardly been able to eat ever. I mean, that's not true. But, I mean, really... I mean, let's just think about it, you know? Does anyone feed Mother Earth anything? 
Does anyone give anything to Mother Earth? I've only met a couple other beings besides me that give offerings of sacred offerings to Mother Earth. And it's as easy as this. When you're drinking a Coca-Cola, give her a sip. Especially if you're a medicine person, aka you do drugs. If you keep spending all this money on drugs and you don't ever give none to mother, that mother calls our Sinaloa cartel and something bad happens to you. It's just the way it goes. There's only so long the mother can sit there starving, asking, screaming, pleading, begging, demanding, putting out commands, mailing out letters, saying we're going to evict you and send you to Mexico City, and we made the most awesome deal. See, for 300,000 people in America, we bought, Pope Francisco did this for me, because he had the money. I got to go, man. Okay, so um, he bought a three- like, square foot hole underneath the Cathedral of Lady de Guadalupe so I can finally give Mexico some people. And um, I just told these people, like, look, I've been asking for money to feed my starving children and me for, like, eight days. No one gives it. So here's the deal. Um, your lease is up. I own this continent. I'm paying your rent. And you think you are? It doesn't even come close to covering your fucking investment. Okay, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I love you.